back? Well, being in pain and not being able to get any relief can be pretty frustrating and depressing. Have you heard of regenerative medicine? It's really gaining in popularity. PRP therapy stands for platelet-rich plasma, and it actually uses a person's own blood to heal areas of pain. A local doctor is performing PRP therapy at the Center of Excellence in Pain and Regenerative Medicine in Farmington. Melissa Cole tells us more about it. Well, I was reached a point where I lost my ability to grasp things, so I couldn't hold on to things. I couldn't shake people's hands because when they squeezed that thumb area, it would just be debilitating pain. David DeSells of Willington came to see Dr. Roshni Patel of the Center of Excellence in Pain and Regenerative Medicine for PRP therapy. PRP therapy. Yes. People are kind of hearing about it a little bit more. Yes. Talk to us about what it is. All right. So it's part of a new emerging field called regenerative medicine. Dr. Patel draws a patient's blood, spins it to separate out the different cells, and what's left is this golden serum. That yellow serum is injected back into the area of injury to start a cascade of healing. So what it does, it does a couple of very important things. It increases blood flow into the area. It brings in other anti-inflammatory mediators as well as healing mediators to start the healing process. And it's made a world of difference where I'm back to normal activities, I can do the dishes, which makes my wife happy. In fact, PRP worked so well on David's hands, he decided to get this treatment on his back. With my back, I would have difficulty turning over in bed. Just the twisting motion um, would create pain. I'd got to a point where in order to stand up out of a chair or out of the bed, I had to get up like this, actually with my hands, mm -hmm. and then walk my hands up my legs to be able to stand. Because it hurt so badly? It hurt so bad here. Now, after the treatment, I'm able to stand up with no pain. Just from that one treatment, you've already seen this kind of result? Yes. Wow, how does that make you feel? Very good. Areas of injury typically have a low blood supply, therefore not receiving beneficial nutrients. When you're injecting the PRP into the area of injury, you're increasing that blood flow. So once you increase that blood flow, you're already helping these regenerative repair cells come into the area and do its job. Sandra Munson of Goshen was also suffering from severe back pain. For many years, I had suffered with spinal stenosis and a degenerative disc disease. Uh, I tried all kinds of non-surgical you know, treatments because I, the thought of surgery was not something I wanted. Uh, but it got to the point where I, actually I needed it. Surgery gave Sandra a bit of relief, but the pain came back in full force. She was just about to give up hope when her sister mentioned Dr. Patel and PRP. With the encouragement of my sister and my husband, I made an appointment, and I am so glad I did. I am able to walk much easier. I can stand longer, and I don't have the pain in my lower back that I had before. It's truly amazing. We built this room to be a operating procedure room where you have fluoroscopy as well as ultrasound and a lot of the procedures are done under dual imaging. Both of these machines allow Dr. Patel to inject the PRP into a precise area. This will maximize healing and the room is completely sterile. Now this is important because not all PRP procedures are done in this kind of setting. Correct, so you have to make sure that it's done in a sterile room under aseptic protocol by trained professionals that are physicians. Not all PRP is created equal. Just drawing your blood and putting it in a regular lab centrifuge is not going to give you the concentrate of the PRP that is needed to jumpstart the healing cascade. We use a special centrifuge that concentrates your platelet six to eight times above its baseline. Wow, and this is it right here? This is it right here, and that is very important because you need that concentration to help jumpstart that healing process. So it's not covered by insurance yet, but perhaps in the next few years? Absolutely. So there is a frenzy of research going on right now, nationally and internationally, of publishing the studies to show its efficacy. Within the next couple of years, this should become gold standard. And over the long run, it's actually going to save a lot of money. So this is a wonderful therapy. So I'm really, you know, I'm really so happy that I came to see her. She's very professional. She's very caring. And in the middle of all that, she's a very special person.
I would also like to mention that that uh, story was shot pre-pandemic as well. Dr. Patel is accepting new patients. Visit her at the Center of Excellence in Pain and Regenerative Medicine. It's right on South Road in Farmington.